Hey guys, so this is the first actual video of 2019 and I thought what better video to start off 2019 with than a story time. As many of you probably know, story times are my absolute favorite style of video, but it's hard trying to constantly think of stories that I can tell. I mean, I have a lot, but like the ones that I can like actually tell to the public, if that makes sense. So I was back home, obviously, for break and me and my family and my parents were talking a lot about like the olden days and you know back when I was young and stuff like that and we started talking about my middle school experience I guess you could say. From first until seventh grade I attended a Catholic school and I have always been a really good kid just always obeyed the rules like there was never an issue with me being a good kid. From first until probably like sixth grade I had no issues in this school I'm not gonna say the name of the school just cuz like that's kind of weird but I never had issues in the school ever and I want to say maybe like end of sixth grade to seventh is when it started getting bad just to name some of the rules that this school had you could only wear white socks you had to wear like a certain pair of shoes. Obviously there was a uniform. You could not wear any type of nail polish, no clear no nail polish, nothing. You could wear no makeup, absolutely no makeup. You couldn't dye your hair. You could only have one earring in each ear. I feel like there were a lot more rules, but I feel like those are the ones that I got in trouble with. So I guess we could start off with the fact that I'm very short. I'm about I'm not about five feet tall. I am five feet tall. And so the skirts that they made us wear were so long on me that like I had to get it hemmed. I had to. It was past my knees basically. So of course that was always an issue. Um, I would always get in trouble for getting my skirt hemmed and I didn't really understand why I was getting in trouble. Like if my parents are letting me hem my skirt, because I'm literally like 10, what is the issue? And my skirt was never too short. It was just the correct length for someone who's five feet tall. It got to the point where, like I said, we could only wear white socks. We could no nail polish, nothing. And as I got older and more in like my teenage years, the more and more we were told you can't wear colored socks, the more I wanted to wear colored socks. And it was something so innocent that I didn't really understand why we couldn't. And of course my parents aren't gonna get mad at me or I'm not gonna get in trouble like at home for wearing green socks. It's just like not a thing. Little old rebellious me started wearing green socks. I would have clear nail polish on, which I would always get in trouble for. Um, one little story in a story. A story in a story? One time I had, I guess it was cold out, I don't know, I had chapstick and it was sitting on the edge of my desk and it was a substitute teacher and she walked by, grabbed the chapstick off my desk and threw it in the trash and said, you're not allowed to have makeup. I didn't know chapstick was makeup first off and I could have just had chap lips, so. So you're probably wondering when you get in trouble for things, like how does it work, what type of like system is it? And basically we had something called a conduct log. I'm laughing because like I, this is so serious. Like this is, this was my life. So we had this conduct log. It was basically like a folder that looks like this. I don't know what they're called. And then inside there were two pieces of paper for every teacher you had. And then there was like lines and then they could put stuff in the box if you got in trouble. I want to say there were like three or four boxes until you had a detention. So you had like three or four chances before you actually got in like serious trouble. Not serious trouble. It was a detention. But... That's how it worked. It was all your teacher's names in there and that was your conduct log. When you got in trouble, you would get it signed and they would literally look at you and be like, conduct log, like we need it. A funny thing that me and my friend did with our conduct logs is one time it was pouring rain and there was the roads were all muddy and there was like puddles everywhere and we were so fed up with how many signatures we would get in our conic log that we like dragged them through like the mud and the dirt and like the water so they were disgusting after like mud and like water all over them so that way whenever a teacher would ask for a conic log we would hand them like this disgusting gross muddy paper and I remember like my teachers would always be like you need a new conic log like what happened to it blah 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 and I was just like 
I don't know what happened to it. Like, I guess it just got dirty somehow. And like, in reality, we're like stomping on it in the rain in the parking lot. Near the end of my time at this Catholic school, it was seventh grade. And like I said, it got to the point where like, there were certain things I wanted to do. And what I wanted to do was nothing bad or against the religion. So my parents let me do it. I used to have black, dark black hair. And I just wanted to have a couple light brown highlights. Like I wanted to lighten my hair to like a lighter brown. Not pink, not purple, not blue. Just a lighter dark brown. My grandpa at the time was a hairstylist and I would go into his salon, he gave me a couple little like light brown highlights and that was it. I was super excited, I loved it. Went into school, of course, the second I go into school, they're like, you dyed your hair. And I'm like, yeah, like I don't know what to say. And she's like, well, I'm gonna have to write in your contact log. I'm like, okay. So she writes my contact log, I get in trouble for like this one teacher. There was one teacher that like genuinely had it out for me. like had it out for me. The second thing that I really wanted to do was, I have no earrings in right now actually, but I had my first earring and I wanted to get a second one, like right next to it, just like one and two, both in the earlobe, nothing crazy. I'm not a criminal. So my mom's like, sure, you wanna get your second piercing? Go ahead, go to get it done. And what I did was I took my first one out so that way I only had one in each ear. That way like I really couldn't get in trouble. I figured it was like an easy way that I would like, you know, kind of cheat the system. I did only have one earring in each ear. It was just the second piercing. I'm going about my day at school and over the loudspeaker, I hear my name to the principal's office. And I'm like, here it goes, this is it, I'm in trouble. I walk into her office and she's like, do you know why you're in here? No, I literally am like, no, I don't know, I don't know what I did this time. And she like slaps this paper on the desk and has like the rules highlighted and circled. And she's like, well, first off, your hair is dyed. And second off, you have two piercings in your ear. And I'm trying so hard, you know, be respectful and just, you know, not be rude because I was never raised to be rude, but this was insane. So I looked at her and I said, well, first off, you're gonna have to talk to my mother about my hair because I don't think she's gonna be too happy about paying more money to change it. And second off, if I read, you know, your rules here, and like I turned it around, I was like, the handbook states students must have only one earring in each ear lobe. And I said, well, I only have one earring in each ear lobe. So I don't know what the problem is. And she goes, uh, what? <laughs> Well, no, we mean one piercing. I go, well, then you're gonna have to change the handbook because in the handbook, it only says one earring per earlobe and this is my earlobe and there's only one in each ear. So I don't see how there's an issue. And she like had no idea what to say. She just looked at me and was like, I'll just call your mother. And I said, go right ahead. So my mom like had to come to the school and she was like, please tell me Nicole was like respectful. Like we all knew this was coming, but she was just so nervous that like I was rude. And she was like, no, she was respectful, but she um spoke her opinion. After that, I wanna say I got in trouble one more time for something else and I had to go to the principal's office. And she looks at me and goes, I think it's best if you leave this school. And I go, Okay. After that happened, I was like, I need to get out of here. Cause the school only went till eighth grade. So I only had one more year left, but she literally basically said, we think it's best if you leave, which means we're either going to expel you or you gotta go. Like you have to, they were kind of like telling me like, you should choose to leave. I told my mom, like, I want to get out of here. I don't want to be there anymore. Like, I don't want to go there anymore. And the more and more I got in trouble for doing these very dumb things, the more I wanted to like 
do them, if that makes sense. And it was taking so much away from my schoolwork and my drive to do schoolwork and my motivation to do well at that school just because I didn't like it. I was getting in trouble so much. I just had no motivation to even care about doing school and it was affecting my grades. Finally, I was able to switch schools and I left that school. It was interesting to say the least um when i told everyone i was leaving there was of course a lot a lot a lot of teachers who were like so upset and like so sad to see me leave and i remember we had a vice principal and he was so nice and i went and saw him and told him like yeah like i'm leaving and he was like oh like so upset about the whole thing and i went to knock on the principal's door to tell her like i am leaving the school and she the door was locked and she's like i'm busy like can't talk. I was like, okay, well, I'm never gonna see you again. And the school was just, it was just a lot, I think, especially for someone like in their teenage years. The fact that you couldn't wear clear nail polish or makeup or like anything like that, I just don't see how it's wrong to do those things. That's the story and some of the stories as to how I basically got kicked out of a Catholic school. And it, Obviously, like, I'm a good kid. I've never gotten in trouble, like, in any sort of way. I've never been in the principal's office, in any other, in the dean's office. Like, I was always a really good kid. I just wanted to wear green socks. And there was one teacher that really, really, really didn't like me. And I don't know why. I don't know what I did to her. But I remember it was, like, the first day of classes. And she was reading, like, the rules and you could only wear a normal belt it couldn't have a belt buckle it couldn't have anything it had to be a normal belt but back in like 2009 it was cool to have like a belt buckle so me and my friends would always wear a belt buckle and i remember on the first day of class she looked at me dead in the eyes and was like only normal belts no belt buckles and I like looked around like why are you staring at me and I was like yes like I literally looked at her and was like yes she's like well I just know that you know you've worn them before so just giving you a warning and this is like in front of the whole class I remember just being like thank you like that type of stuff makes you want to do it more like her saying that to me made me like I'm gonna wear a belt buckle tomorrow <laughs> like it was just so crazy to me that like these were the rules and I was very lucky to get out of there after that school I did still go to a private school but it wasn't a like religious one um, and they were a lot more open to let you express yourself in socks and shoes and things like that but yeah that's that's the story time guys that's really it I'm trying to think I feel like I probably have more stories that I could think of and it's so funny because two of the girls that I live with now went to that elementary and middle school with me so I'll ask them if they have any funny stories that they can remember about the school and Maybe we can do another one of these. If you guys like it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below which rule you think was the craziest, whether it be the clear nail polish, the no makeup, the colored socks, or the ear piercing. Let me know which one you think is the craziest, or if you have any crazy rules, let me know in the comments down below. Of course, I'm not trying to promote breaking the rules, and I'm not trying to promote, you know, to do things that you're not supposed to. You should definitely follow the rules if you're in middle school or elementary school definitely listen to what the school says this was just what happened to me and don't be like me <laughs> wear plain socks if you have to wear plain socks thank you guys so much for watching of course make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video my spray tan is so off right now that like my hand is white and my skin is I need to go get another spray tan. It's 2019. New videos are coming every single Wednesday, so stay tuned. Like I said, post notifications so you don't miss anything. And I will see you guys next week with a brand new video.